guys, so the day has finally come for me to show you my updated perfume mini collection. Uh, so this area of my bedroom may look a little familiar if you saw uh, like my skincare organization video, so I'll link that for you uh, if you're interested. But uh, it's been almost four years uh, since I filmed my first uh, perfume mini video, so it is high time uh, that I update you all. And uh, since then, I have moved my perfumes into one of the drawers in my Alex 9 drawer. Uh, this is one of the deeper drawers. Uh, last I showed you, it was in one of these uh, Helmer uh, drawers. Uh, so these are removable from the container, which makes them a little bit easier to show and kind of set up for filming. But I outgrew that drawer and this is all nail polish now so uh, I've kind of reorganized that and my nail polish collection has grown as well so uh, anyway I might not spend as much time on uh, some of the ones I showed you uh, last time I'm not sure what will end up being kind of the fastest but uh, let's see here okay so I think I'm gonna speed up me taking all of these uh, out of the drawer and then I will do some close-ups of the actual perfume. I think that kind of makes the most sense. Uh, so before I zoom in, I thought I would mention that uh, this pattern on the bottom is actually kind of like a foam drawer protector that I got at the container store. So uh, if I can find the same uh, product still available, I will link it for you, but, but I think I got some spray adhesive uh, to put down to uh, make sure that this didn't roll up. Uh, and I can probably go in with a lit roller to kind of clean this up um, but we will close that for now okay so hopefully that is a good angle uh, I think one of the reasons why I delayed making this video for so long was uh, it's just a little bit more complicated to film uh, and you can see tucked away here I have another roll of uh, that foam uh, this is from the brand contact I think Okay, so I'll probably have to reorganize this when it goes back in, but I thought I would just kind of quickly show you uh, some of these larger bottles that I also store. So I have uh, Dolce & Gabbana Rose the One. Uh, if you are interested in a full, like, regular size perfume bottle collection, uh, let me know. This is um, Bulgari Mon Jasmine Noir. This is Signorina Eleganza by Salvatore Ferragamo. Uh, this is a very old bottle. This is, uh, you probably saw this in the last one as well. I think this is the Sarah Jessica Parker fragrance. Uh, I think it was called Lovely. The actual writing is a bit worn off, but I remember wearing this years ago. Uh, this is an interesting uh, perfume that J. Crew released uh, in collaboration with Arquiste. Uh, this is the number 31 and I forget the full story but it had something to do with uh, I think one of the Guggenheims. Uh, it was something about her fragrance. Uh, let me look that up actually. Yeah so it says uh, number 31 is inspired by the first all-female exhibit in the United States. Uh, this scent captures the essence and excitement of the avant-garde crowd. Bold notes of red vermouth, eau de vie accord, and Bulgarian rose pair with damson, plum, patchouli, and oak moss for an addictive, intriguing fragrance that tells a story in itself. So it says paying homage to Peggy Guggenheim's groundbreaking exhibition by 31 women, the first all-female modern art show in the United States, number 31 is a modern take on the New York art scene during the 1940s. Famous for both her sharp eye for talent and her daring attitude toward art, 
Peggy hosted the 1943 exhibit to showcase the revolutionary and challenging works of female artists like Rita Kahlo and Helen uh, Frankenthaler. Daring floral and boozy perfumes inspired by the aromatic cocktails of the era are reinterpreted with a modern feel that is both bold and feminine. Uh, so yeah, so I just thought that was a really kind of cool concept for a perfume. I should actually wear this uh, this fall. It's a very kind of fall wintry scent. And uh, I do plan on showing you all another kind of, uh, I guess, organizational type video. Uh, I got a, what I call my beauty cabinet from Ikea. Uh, and I meant to do kind of a Halloween theme, but I never got around to filming that. But uh, my goal is to kind of update that seasonally. So for Women's History Month in March, uh, I do want to do kind of a, a tableau, if you will, dedicated to that. Uh, like if you saw my Ciate I Am Woman palette, I think it's called. Uh, so makeup items and other items that are kind of themed around that. So I think this would be a perfect uh, perfume to include in that little setup. Okay, so that was a very long explanation for that one. Uh, there's Roses de Chloe. This is the little travel spray here. Very cute. And we also have a Stella, Stella McCartney Eau de Toilette. This is one of my favorite kind of easy daytime spring perfumes. So I think I picked up a backup of this when it was on sale at Gilt or one of those. Uh, so I have a backup of that. And I think those are most of the larger sizes. I have some travel sprays in here. This one is just the box, so I should probably not keep this, but uh, this is Sci-Fi by Ellis Brooklyn. Uh, I have a old nest candle um, jar that I put all my travel sprays in. So I have this. I'm trying to keep the dedicated minis separate. Uh, this is... I get some additional travel sprays in this Jo Malone box. So this is Cartier Le Panther. I think I remember this being like a gift with purchase from uh, Sephora. There's a Toca Florence rollerball. Uh, Stella, this is the Eau de Parfum travel spray. And I really do like this for kind of more of the nighttime or fall and winter. Uh, this is Signorina Eau de Parfum by Salvatore uh, Bergamo. We have a mini Tom Ford Black Orchid. I've been wearing this a lot lately. It uh, has really great lasting power. So this is just a little rollerball. And then finally we have the KVD or Kat Von D, what are you called? Sinner uh, Travel Spray, I think it is, yeah. So those are some travel sprays that I have tucked away here that I guess I don't use as often. Uh, this is another box that I should get rid of. This is uh, Capri Blue Volcano Eau de Parfum. Uh, I really like citrusy scents in the summer. And let's see here. Another travel, I think this might have been another gift with purchase from Sephora a long time ago. This is Prada, uh, what is this, Infusion, uh, Dearest, Iris, I don't know how you say that, it's a rollerball. As you can see, I don't really get rid of perfumes, hardly ever. Uh, this is the Illum Desert Tulip. Eau de Parfum, and this is another little roller ball. Oh, it says Demi Perfume. I don't know what the difference is between a Demi Perfume and a Eau de Parfum is. But there you go. Okay, so I have this other Jo Malone box, and in this one I have the, I think, 30 mil of the Red Roses, which is not my favorite rose scent. 
Uh, it has a honey note that I'm not super fond of. And then I just put this little bag in there that has some extra uh, samples. Um, this is wood sage and sea salt. And this one is fig and lotus flower. So I might include this one in my upcoming 2000 subscriber giveaway because I think I have another one uh, that I've used. And it's not my favorite Jo Malone fragrance, but I know it's fairly popular. So let's go ahead and talk about some of those. So uh, we have these sets that I got last year. Uh, and I, they have a similar gift set uh, of their kind of more common or popular fragrances. Uh, that one. Okay. So this one, for example, has Wild Bluebell, Honeysuckle, and Divana, and then another Wood Sage and Sea Salt. So you can see I've accumulated several of those. And then it also had Pomegranate Noir, which I've taken out, and English Pear and Freesia. So if you wanted a kind of sampler of their uh, bestsellers or whatever, they have this type of uh, gift packaging available. They didn't do one like this this year, which I was kind of disappointed by. This one had all of their kind of like Christmassy or seasonal scents. Uh, so this one still has ginger biscuit in it. It also had orange bitters, white moss and snowdrop, rose and magnolia, green almond and red currant, and then this warm ginger biscuit. Uh, so I've probably mentioned all of these uh, in passing just now, but uh, there's the wood sage and sea salt. Uh, green almond and red currant is one of those uh, seasonal ones that I mentioned that they didn't bring back this year and I was kind of disappointed by. Uh, I've used a fair bit of it, but I'm trying to kind of not use it all up. Uh, I really enjoy that kind of creamy almond note, uh, but it has a little bit of tartness to it. So that's a really um, nice scent. Uh, so I'll be on the lookout for that if they bring it back in another year. English Parent Freesia. Uh, this one is Pomegranate Noir, like I mentioned. Uh, English Oak and Hazelnut, that's another nice one. This one leans a little masculine, so if you like that, or maybe you'll like it on a partner. Uh, White Moss and Snowdrop, this is one that they have brought back for um, this holiday season, and this is a nice one. A little lighter, a little bit, you know, light floral, um, so if you like that. And then uh, Rose and Magnolia is a nice one. I'm not always hugely into Magnolia type notes because if it's too white floral, it kind of gives me a headache, but that one is a nice one. It has a very strong rose note. And then uh, Orange Bitters, which is a really nice kind of holiday citrus. And that's another one that I can, this one I would say is more unisex maybe than English Oak and Hazelnut, uh, but it is a nice one. And they have brought this one back as well, and I think they also have candle uh, versions of it as well if you are interested in that. Uh, so I think that's pretty much it for Jo Malone. Uh, oh, there's this one, Honeysuckle and uh, Devana. This one was in another little box. Okay. So, I'm just going through some other kind of collections I have. This is a set of Toka fragrances. It has seven little mini perfumes in it. And... I went through a pretty strong Toka phase, I guess. So, uh, I have these little bottles that they came out with. This one is Florence. This is Stella, which is another nice citrus. Uh, and this one is Cleopatra. So these are older, but it's kind of their best sellers at the time anyway. Another <laughs> little trio. Uh, this was a, I think, Black Friday special at Sephora with again Cleopatra, Florence, and Stella. Obviously I was in no danger of running out of those fragrances anytime, but 
that kind of limited uh, mentality does kind of creep in. Uh, there's also this Aaron set of fragrances. So these are a little bit uh, larger, which is a nice size. These are, let's see, Gardenia, Rattan, Amber Musk, uh, Evening Rose, uh, is it Ecat, Jasmine, and do I have two Evening Roses in here? Oh, Lilac Path. Maybe I give that one to my mom because she is really into lilac scents. So I might have just placed another one in there to take up the room. Uh, there's this Jimmy Choo uh, little keychain furry puff that was a gift with purchase. I think it also had maybe the fragrance with it. All right, so talking about some nest fragrances. So these, again, I think were maybe like a Sephora Black Friday type um, deal. This is Nest Indigo, uh, Nest Dahlia and Vines, and Cocoa Woods. Uh, and I really do enjoy the Nest kind of artwork that they put on their perfumes. Um, I really like their, their candles as well, as you can probably tell. Uh, and I think I have some kind of more dedicated minis from Nest floating around here somewhere. Let's take a look at this little um, compartment. So. Uh, this is a little nest votive that I've just kind of put various um, little samples that I wanted to keep separate from my like main perfume sample collection. Like I was, I guess, using them at one time or trying them out. So replica lazy Sunday morning. This one does not have any kind of writing on it, which is super helpful. Uh, this one is nectar by commodity. Uh, I don't know if they're still around. They used to be sold at Sephora, but I think they've left Sephora. Uh, Replica Under the Lemon Tree, Tom Ford Ombre Leather, uh, Aqua Allegoria Mandarin Basilic by Guerlain, and another Tom Ford Ombre Leather. Uh, and in here, I have a lot of these by Rosie Jane um, little roller balls. I think these were in a set. So this one is Rosie. This one is James. This one is Lila Lou. Uh, that one's different. This one is Angie. And finally, we have Tilly. Those are very cute. Uh, there's also the Chloe. Eau de Parfum, a little water ball, uh, and I'm trying to save the like cutest bottles for the end, but I'll go ahead and talk about this one. This one is Wild Geranium by Erin, and uh, I love that kind of stone design that they have uh, on their perfume bottles, even their minis, so really love those. Uh, and then let's go and tackle this. So a lot of this is probably repeat from last time. Uh, this one, I think this was from a birch box or something. A lot of the writing is kind of worn off. But yeah, a little roller ball. This is, is it, oh, what is it? I think this one is La Vie Belle by um, Lancome and this one might be the Low de Parfum. I think that's what this one is. Uh, we have the uh, original Tory Birch, which I don't think has any actual writing on it. Uh, this one is Giorgio Armani, and I think it's Diamonds is the name of that one. Uh, this one is Pure White Linen by Estee Lauder. Uh, this is Carvin. Le Parfum, and uh, I think I said in the last video too that this I thought was a twist off, but it actually was a stopper, and so I twisted off this like top little plastic bit trying to open it. Uh, but anyway, that is from Carbon. We have a Versace Yellow Diamond, and I actually got a uh, new one of these in a recent gift with purchase, so I will include the new one in my giveaway. So if you're interested in these minis. 
Uh, we have some Dior Addict perfumes. Uh, this one is Dior Addict to Life Eau de Toilette, and this one is Dior Addict Eau de Lys Eau de Toilette. Uh, I actually had a full size of this one at some point. I think it was one of those that uh, you got a sample of from Sephora and you could redeem it for a full size. So uh, I used one of those up. Uh, we have Desire by Dolce & Gabbana, the one. Uh, this is Le Petit Robe Noir by Guerlain. Another Estee Lauder, this one is Pleasures. Uh, this is Ghost Eclipse. This is a little rollerball. I think I got this one with um, when I was in the UK and they have all those little gifts with purchases in uh, magazines. I think that was one of them. We have, what are you? All right, so I have no idea what this is. I wanna say it was like a L'Occitane or something. I don't know if you if you recognize this kind of ampersand bottle, let me know. We have the Flora by Gucci Gorgeous Gardenia, and that is different, I believe, from this one that they've come out with recently. So this is the Gucci Flora Gorgeous Gardenia. This is Flora by Gucci. So uh, this is a very cute little bottle has those little ties to it and that is what the new bottle looks like I might have to do inserts of these you can kind of get the full the full effect here uh, these are both toka more roller balls uh, this one is a little uh, juicy couture uh, coach I think it's Love, Love, Eau de Parfum. And another Estee Lauder Sensuous, uh, Estee Lauder Beyond Paradise, I believe. This is a spray, which is kind of, I think, unique that Estee Lauder has sprays for something that small. Uh, this is kind of that um, nest bottle design that I was talking about. It looks like, I'm not sure if this has gone off. I don't remember it being quite that dark in the bottle before. Maybe a little bit, uh, but it's still pretty and uh, I do keep these, you know, in a non-humid room and um, they're kind of out of direct sunlight, so I do the best I can. Uh, Miss Dior Eau de Parfum. This is Tokyo Milk Dark number 62 and the sticker just came off. Uh, I think these are both Michael Kors fragrances and we have the DKNY Eau de Parfum and this is the Be Delicious which is a cute you know replica of the bigger size. Uh, so we have Angel by Terry Mugler can see I started keeping the boxes so I would have a better idea of what the actual fragrance is. That is a cool design. Um, just kind of going willy-nilly here. Uh, Atelier Cologne uh, Rose uh, Anonym, if I'm saying that right. Uh, this one is Nomad, Absolute de Parfum by Chloe. It's a pretty little bottle. I think it's meant to replicate their um, the shape of their bags. Dolce & Gabbana the One, Eau de Toilette. One day I would like to be able to kind of display these in some kind of shadow box, although I do recognize that uh, they would be exposed to light more and probably go off. But uh, This one is Machino Toy 2 Eau de Parfum, which kind of reminds me of those little plastic bottles um, that were candy that you would like bite the top off of, if you remember those. Uh, and then finally we have Dolce, uh, Dolce & Gabbana. And this one is one of the prettier 
little bottles here. Uh, you can see they have that um, design on the top. All right, two more little roller balls here. These are both by Elizabeth and James. There's the Nirvana Rose and the Nirvana French Gray. We have Poison Girl by Dior. Cute little Dior bottle there. Another Tory Burch. This is Nuit Azure. which is similar to the other one, but it has a very kind of striking lid. And this one actually does have the name of the fragrance on it. If I can find where that other one went off to. Oh, here it is. Uh, so, nice kind of geometric design on those. Uh, we have Clinique Happy. Kind of a classic. This one is a spray as well. Uh, we have Tory Burch Love Relentlessly of a Parfum. So she kind of changed up the design of this perfume. Another Nest Indigo. This one I think is the same kind of design and you can see that one has that nice clear liquid so you can see through very easily to the back with that kind of um, I don't know 19th century botanical design. Uh, there is Jimmy Choo Fever which is a nice color on the bottle. Uh, I love Juicy Couture which is kind of fun. Uh, My Way by Giorgio Armani. This is a newer fragrance. I do like the design of this. And this is another one where a second sample has come into my life. So I will include the new one in my giveaway. We have My Burberry Eau de Toilette. I like the kind of little cloth ribbon and um, tortoiseshell lid on this one, though it makes me a little nervous about it coming off. We have Versace Eros Pour Femme Eau de Toilette. Pretty design on that one. I just heard that Versace, I think, is coming out with a makeup brand, which will be interesting. Uh, and then we have Ralph Lauren Romance Eau de Parfum. I did have a full size bottle of this one once upon a time. Uh, this is another Nest Rollerball Midnight Fleur. These are a little kind of mixed up right in front of me. Uh, this was a sample of um, little vials by Oscar de Laurenta and this little kind of satin bag. So let's see, we have Coralina, Granada, Santo Domingo, uh, Oriental Lace, Mi Corzon, and Sargasso. Uh, okay, so this one we have J'adore by Dior. This is another one where it's pretty fun that they replicated their larger size bottle. Uh, and this is, I guess, their standard packaging. I did get this kind of, I don't know, holiday style packaging at one point. Just pretty fun. So that is kind of the same looking bottle. might include this in like my holiday display. You can see there's 
wonder if that's dust or what. The ribbon has left a mark there. Uh, this one is Angel by Mouglet. Is this the second Angel I have? It might be. Looks like they've changed the box a little bit and the design of the actual vial. Uh, this is one of my favorites. Uh, I've had this for a while. You may have seen this before as well, but this is Aqua de Parma Colonia. Uh, Ombra Eau de Cologne and my favorite thing about it is just that it's nestled in this like little kind of satin little packaging uh, so as far as presentation for a mini you can't really beat that uh, we have Chloe love story which is meant to look like those locks that people put on that bridge in Paris uh, this one is Giorgio Armani C. It's a pretty color on that fragrance. We have YSL uh, Libra Eau de Toilette. So this is one I got relatively recently and I think I was a bit disappointed in that because I think the full size bottle is so catching, but having that printed on it just, I don't know, it didn't kind of hit the same. Uh, and I recognize that these are a different type of packaging, but anyway. Uh, Chloe Eau de Parfum. So, pretty cute, not the most exciting bottle, but pretty cute. This is a Sage and Fasten Common Sense. That, that might have been what this one was supposed to be as well, but this is a different scent. Uh, so this one is in a little roller ball. Again, I think I got this from like a birch box or something a while back. Uh, we have Philosophy Amazing Grace. This one is Valentino Bocha Viva. This one has a pretty cool bottle. It's not my favorite fragrance, but I do, I do like how they incorporated those studs. We have another Elizabeth and James uh, Nirvana. This one is the white. It's another little roller ball there. And I also have the black. So this used to be a brand at Sephora, but I think they've left. I don't know if you can still purchase them elsewhere. Uh, a little Jouer roller ball. And then we have another Erin fragrance. This is an Mediterranean honeysuckle. So again, that beautiful kind of stone effect on the lid. Uh, another Chloe, this is Fleur de Parfum, I think it is. So fairly similar. Didn't really deviate much in the bottle design on that one. Uh, Dior, Miss Dior, Rose and Roses. So pretty cute. Uh, we have the Mew Mew Twist Eau de Parfum. Very cute bottle on that one. I think they did a good job. Uh, this is another little sampler of vials, I believe, from Coach. There are four in there. Uh, let's see. Looks like there's Coach Poppy. I guess just coach, coach, poppy flower, and coach legacy, maybe. I'm not super familiar with their perfume line. Uh, 
Uh, and then we have Arizona by Proenza Schooler Eau de Parfum. Uh, we have YSL Mon Paris. So again, cute little ribbon. It looks like it needs a little bit of a, a press or something. Uh, so cute, cute bottle on that one. Uh, we have Perfect by Marc Jacobs. This is a newer fragrance, I believe. And this one has a kind of fun design on it. You can see that bow and the I think they're hearts and like uh, like blocks for the name. And then last but not least, we have uh, Balenciaga Rosa Botanica. So another pretty floral design on the bottle and of course that very graphic black and white striped cap. Okay, so I think that's it. Uh, maybe in another four years I will film an additional update, but uh, I think I'll just quickly mention, because I get this question a lot, where I, or how I get these. Uh, and I would say gifts with purchase from Sephora and Ulta are the main way that a lot of these little bottles come into my life. Uh, so Ulta, you have those larger gifts with purchase, and sometimes there will be a mini perfume um, with them, or they have beauty breaks, um, usually every Wednesday, but they can be any time, really. Uh, so definitely sign up for the emails from Ulta, uh, or just take a look at their gift with purchase page periodically to see if there's anything uh, there that you would like to um, try and acquire. Um, with Ulta, there's always a risk that they will substitute something else so I wouldn't recommend trying to place a large order just for the sake of that gift with purchase although I do that occasionally um, but just be aware that you may not actually get it they may substitute it or it may just be missing or whatever um, and then with Sephora they have deluxe samples with purchase uh, depending on the type of sample it can be a 25 or 35 or etc um, spend um, and the perfume ones tend to go fairly quickly. I think the most recent one I just saw was the Burberry Brit, I think it was, and I think that was a free little bottle with a $35 purchase. Uh, they used to be $25 more often than not, so they may be kind of creeping up there. Uh, but yeah, those are the, the ways that I get these uh, the most often. Uh, around this time of year, you can find sets. Um, so I know I just talked about this Gucci Flora. There was a set with one of these and I think the travel spray. It may be out of stock online, but you can see if it's available at your store. If it comes back in stock, you can put uh, like an in stock notification. Picnic with my best friends. We start to plan what we will do. Now life's Back in color And everything's feeling brand new Well, I read that the French always say what's on their mind Leaving lipstick stains on tall glasses of wine Practically invented being nonchalant for fun They tear apart all tear just like afternoon croissants Strolling over bridges that were built in renaissance Isn't that what every romance loving 20-something woman wants? Midnight in Paris, I've always heard this Magic in the air as you're watching people dance by
uh, so you can check those out this time of year uh, or sometimes like CVS they'll sell just like random perfume minis um, like this by themselves uh, so I hope that's helpful for you guys I'll you know include any links I can down below for other sets um, that I can find uh, and I do plan to uh, film a separate video dedicated to my giveaway so I will have more information uh, in that giveaway uh, once I've had a chance to kind of sort through all of this and figure out what I have that's duplicative uh, that I can include in the giveaway. Uh, so I hope you guys are all doing very well and staying safe and I will talk to you soon. Bye.